Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to Traps Tuesday Toots. Today we are going to look at how to build a trident farm. Uh, it's a request actually given to me by Knockpoint. Uh, and so I'm going to go ahead and go over a simple way that's pretty simple, light on resources, and is super efficient. So let's go ahead and uh, get to it. What do you say? All right, so what you're going to want to do is find a flat part of the ocean. The flatter it is, the better. Uh, if you can find an area that is completely flat, you're going to be better off. Also, you can terraform part of the ocean to make it work, but you do need to make sure that you're in an ocean biome and that you have a little bit of height and that it's it's as flat as possible. The biggest thing is you are going to need a 5x5 five five flat area, but uh, the drowned are more likely to get into your farm if you if you have a flatter area around it so we'll clear out some of the seagrass and now that i think about it one of the things we actually should do is go ahead and build a conduit now this isn't required if you don't have the ability to build a conduit you don't have to um so if you haven't if you haven't gotten the materials to build one don't worry about it uh but if you do have the materials to get one you're gonna want to put one down just because it's gonna speed up your build process you're not going to need any potions you're going to be able to see and breathe underwater uh, so it's nice um, otherwise you can certainly use uh, night vision potions and water breathing potions and work that way or just keep going up and down and just working in the dark but if you can build a conduit go ahead and do that you just build a few circles of prismarine uh, the more circles you do the better off it is and you place a conduit right in the center so this is going to make it absolutely the best for working. And activate. There we go. See, now we can see very easily underwater. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, come over here, clear out some of the seagrass, and we'll start our build process. All right, so starting right here, we're going to go ahead and place down a 5x5 five five square. So that's 5, this is 5, and then we just make it a nice big flat area, like so. I'm obviously using iron, but you just use whatever building block you want, cobblestone, stone brick, whatever. This is just what I use in my tutorial videos. Then we're going to go ahead and place down some fence gates in each of these corners. Two tall. Then we'll place down some trap doors, also too tall, along the edge. Alright, now we want to come to the top, and what we're going to do is we're going to place two layers of building blocks on top of this, all the way around. Alright, now we're going to add one extra block in the corner of each of these so that we can then put down our obsidian portal. Obviously you could use obsidian instead, but that's going to be a little bit pricier. So let's just use a building block and then just build up three and across three. And then uh, we'll add another building block in the corner of each of these so that we can do the top piece of the portal. Like so. Hopefully you don't misclick like that, because in not in creative, you can't get rid of it nearly as quickly. Alright, so that is in place, and then what we're going to do is we're going to place a ring around the center with a full covering over the portal itself. So there's going to be a full ring of, of building blocks, and then a full blocking of the portal itself, like this. I'll show you slowly one more time. just like that and then just continue that all the way around all right now that that is in place we're going to go up to the top and we are just going to place one full layer on top of this whole thing covering the entire top section uh, making sure there is no gap like so and then our next step is to remove the water. There's lots of different ways. You can use sponge to just suck up the water and you can uh, do whatever you want. 
Uh, you can also just place in blocks if you were going to do that. I would use gravel or sand just because you can quickly remove them with a shovel. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and just do blocks because then I can demonstrate that it is possible this way. Uh, so what we'll do is we will just place all of our blocks in and then we'll remove them and there won't be water here anymore. So let's do that. Now, because we aren't using night vision and breathing potions, it's dark in here, so I'm going to go ahead and actually take both of those, even though we have the conduit, uh, now that there's not water, because obviously when there's not water, you can't see as well. So uh, we'll continue from here. Now, this is actually an okay time to go ahead and light up these portals, so we'll go ahead and do that. Now, if you were using sponges and it was quick, I might just go ahead and clear out the entire thing, but uh, since we're doing it with the blocks, this will work, and we will light these all up. And then uh, we do need to fill in the inside. Um, you don't have to do the center block, but I figure why not. Uh, but the outer blocks you have to completely block off so that you can't get through the portal. So there we go. And then let's remove this water here. Right, now as you just saw, I placed blocks here and removed them, and the water's still here. And that's because I didn't actually think about the fact that when you're not using sponges, you actually have to remove these trap doors, replace them with blocks, uh, and then once you remove the blocks, once the, the, the fence gates are in, then you can go ahead and, and close it off. So, uh, Unfortunately, we're going to have to do that again, um, replacing all of these blocks, because otherwise those are actually waterlogged and they have create source blocks. Alright, now that we've done that, we're going to place a torch right in the center. And we're going to place a turtle egg on each one of these four blocks. That's going to attract the ground from the outside. Now the torch is there so that you don't have other mobs spawning on this uh, spawnable platform now. Um, and that is this part set up. So now we just got to go outside the farm and do a little bit of simple redstone. Uh, first off, remove the bottom two blocks of each one of these portal coverings. And now that the portal is lit, the water won't flow in. So uh, go around and do that on all four sides. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and place an extra block on the bottom of each of these on the sides. Uh, which is just going to be the edge of the portal there, you'll see. Um, we just need to have two blocks there for our redstone mechanics. And then temporarily we're going to add a block right here so that we can then place our pistons facing in. And we need three pistons along, so all the way the width of the portal. And just like that, that, and that. There we go. Alrighty, and then we can break this block, and then we just do that on all four sides. Alright, now that that is done, we're going to place three observers across the top like that. And they're going to flicker for a second there because the water inside is uh, changing. Um, and it's noticing those updates. And then we're going to place three blocks along here and three note blocks right here. And then uh, do that on all four sides. All right, so that is three observers across the top, three note blocks, and three building blocks. All right, now that that is done, we're going to come in here, place blocks up here just to make sure there's no water. And then we're going to go ahead and break those blocks. And then we can go ahead and place a string in their place. And you want to be careful while doing this that you don't get pushed into the portals. So make sure you stay down below because if you get up there where those pistons are, they will push you into the portal. So again, just place three blocks, place three string, and do that on all four sides.
now we're going to come down and on all four sides we're going to take out the center three blocks and replace them with soul sand and that's going to create our little water elevator for our drowned to go up and get pushed by those pistons so last block in right here all right now that is actually this part of the farm done we still need an afk platform and a collection zone so we're going to go build those now. Now, when you're doing this in survival, you're going to want to go ahead and figure out your portal location. So you get a location for this in the nether, and then you want to be able to figure out a second portal near there that's going to link to a separate portal in the nether. And you're going to want to make sure you do all the math calculations and everything so that it works out. However, since we're doing this creative and it's just a tutorial, I'm just going to pop in right here and go through um, the nether here. So on this side, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to build a little collection area. So what we're going to want to do is uh, clear out a little area here. Then on the back side of the portal, and you can choose whichever side is the back, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we will just go ahead and place down some building blocks to block off the exit of the portal in this direction. Then on the other side, we're going to dig down a little hole. Uh, I would go at least two blocks, maybe three, just to make a little hole for them. Something about like that will work. And then we'll just build a little encasement for it. So we're just going to make sure that it's safe uh, and that they're not going to escape. And just come back a few blocks. Eventually, you're going to want to also mob-proof this for yourself so that you don't get shot by gas while you're at the farm. Um, so then right here, we're going to go ahead and place a block right here and then just fill this in as well. Just guarantee they're locked in there. Dig down a little spot for you to stand right here. And then we just need to place trap doors so the baby villagers can't come out. Oh, you know what? Uh, actually, before we do that, we want to clear out this area. We want to place a chest right here uh, to collect our tritons when they drop from the mobs, and then we'll just clear out this area, and then we'll place hoppers facing into that chest, and that'll just make sure that we definitely get all the drops that we can get from these guys. All right, and then we'll place back our block and our two trap doors, and they can go on the top or the bottom, doesn't really matter, uh, but basically you just need to make it so it's less than one block gap so that the baby zombies or drowned don't come out. All right, and then we'll just dig a way out. And then, like I say, you're going to want to build a portal somewhere, and we'll just put one right here. And uh, if you built them right, although we're not really doing that, uh, the two portals hopefully will link up separately. So you can go in and out of one portal, and the drowned go into the other portal, and there's no, no cross-contamination. But again, that's all about figuring out portal locations and all of that. So we're going to actually drop into the farm here. Well, that was fun. Uh, as you saw, I had some trouble getting in and out of the portal. That's why you do need to do the math. But now what we're going to do is we're just going to grab our building blocks. We're going to go to the center of this farm, and we're going to build straight up 114 blocks. Um, and uh, once we get to the top, we will be good to go. We are at 157, which is exactly where we need to be since the top of the farm is at level 43. And so now we're just going to build out a little bit of a platform here for us to stand on. This is going to be our AFK platform. You're going to want to go ahead and build this and enclose it in some way to make it safe. Uh, build it out of slabs, make it lit, uh, put a roof on it so phantoms don't get you as you AFK overnight. Whatever you need to do. Uh, but just make this a safe place to AFK and we will be good. Now, if you did the math for the portals, uh, I would choose the direction for the portal math to work out. But just build out in a direction, um, a little walkway. I would probably make it more than one block wide like it currently is. But just something out. And then we're going to build a portal on the end of that so that we can get back and forth easily. Um, yeah. Alright, 
right, so we have a little portal here. Now, I didn't do my math, so there's a good chance we're going to have a problem and link to the wrong portal. But let's check it out. Yep. We... Actually, that worked. That worked. All right, and we already have a drowned, so that is what we need. We have two drowned. Um, so yeah, so that's what we need. That that portal up there is going to do everything that we need it to do, and uh, work nicely for us. The other thing, oh, you should probably go ahead and throw some trapdoors on here. It'll just make them get out of that portal a little bit faster. Um, if you don't do that, it clearly works, but if you if you do that, it might speed up the process a little bit of getting them out of here. So go ahead and, like I said, build a little safety container around this side where you're going to be killing them. And just make sure that you have a, a safe place to be. Oh, whoops. Well, that was fun. But just make sure you have a safe place in the nether and you'll be good. Uh, do make sure you come back over here and you do get rid of this. It's in the way of drowned getting to the farm and so it will increase your rates if you just dismantle this entire conduit and then uh, also if you do have time and you want it to be a little bit more efficient you could certainly come in here and like block up the land so that it's nice and flat make sure there's no too high spawning spaces below it and uh, just just go through and, and just flatten out the area a little bit more uh, will help but it's certainly not required. This farm will work without. Um, but yeah, that is that is the farm pretty much done. Uh, nothing really left to say. You can uh, make it look cool or whatever. But this is this is all it takes to build a a trident farm. So that's gonna do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out, and uh, I hope this helped you guys in your world building. And uh, <laughs> Have a good one, everybody, and remember, folks, don't get trapped without me. Bye-bye!